6 following the money funneled by voters into Multnomah County's Preschool for All program. So nearly 700 kids are enrolled for this year's pilot program. Our Brandon Thompson joining us live. So Brandon, they're looking to expand this program to many more kids. Yeah, it's a far cry from the universal access that people behind this program want, but there is a shortage of workers as well as providers that need to be solved in the industry before it is ready for every child in Multnomah County. Running a child care center can feel a lot like playing catch up. You'd have to bring on additional staff. Donya Frazier expanded into this space last year, this year. Actually just filled that space yesterday, so we have all 20 spots. All of her kids are part of Multnomah County's Preschool for All. Think about it. What is that? The program has 687 kids countywide part of its pilot year. I think what we're trying to learn is like where are the places that need assistance. Leslie Barnes leads the county's program. Next year she hopes 1,000 kids are enrolled and eventually every child in the county. Oh, good job. And we are prioritizing based on need. There's no income requirement, but we are prioritizing folks that are furthest from the opportunity right now. Apple store. Family, you are right. State estimates show up to 30% of providers closed or have not reopened since the pandemic. The program provides funding for the provider and the family, costing between $14,000 to $21,000 a student, depending on the care they need. The budget this year is $59 million, which includes the cost of recruiting and training new providers, as well as workers, setting the industry up to handle every child in the county in the next 10 years. I think people kind of thought of it as a pass through while got to their real job and so we're trying to market ourselves as a, a good choice for a career. For Frazier, the families she helps are the ones who need it most. We talked about how we could go from bringing kids that have probably no opportunity to go to preschool either because of finances. So the applications are closed this year, but when the program expands to hopefully more than 1,000 next year, applications will open in the spring. Reporting live in Portland, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.